If you've got diabetes and you've noticed some small round brownish patches that have appeared on your shins, then this video is for you. In this video, we're going to be talking about a skin condition called diabetic dermopathy, including what causes it, what it typically looks like, including lots of clinical photographs, risk factors for developing it, and finally, ways to prevent this. If you do enjoy the video and learn something new, then please remember to consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for weekly medical education content. So let's start off by exploring what it is. Well, diabetic dermopathy is a skin condition characterized by light brown or reddish oval or round, slightly indented scaly patches, most often appearing on the shins. This is why they're called shin spots. It's a harmless skin condition and it can't be spread to other people. So although these lesions may appear in anyone, particularly after an injury or trauma to the area, they're one of the most common skin problems found in patients with diabetes, and they're observed in almost one in three individuals with diabetes. So now we understand what shin spots are, let's go ahead and take a look at some real life photographic examples, which I'm able to show you courtesy of Dermnet New Zealand. So in this series of photos, you're seeing classical examples of diabetic dermopathy, and you'll notice that the lesions appear most frequently on the shins. They can also be found on the front of the thighs, the forearm, the side of the foot, the scalp, and the trunk, but this is less common. Normally, they'll be round or oval shaped, reddish brown in color, but this will depend on the patient's skin tone, initially scaly, but then can flatten out and become indented, and they can commonly occur on both shins. The presence of four or more lesions is almost always limited to patients with diabetes, and it's important that people presenting with shin spots who are not already diagnosed with diabetes should undergo further investigations to rule out the possibility of early diabetes. So now we know what they are and what they look like, well what causes diabetic dermopathy? Well the exact cause is unknown, but it may be associated with a complication of diabetes affecting the nerves and the blood vessels. This is because research studies have shown the condition to occur more frequently in diabetic patients who've got retinopathy, which means damage to the blood vessels in the eyes, neuropathy, meaning damage to the nerves, and nephropathy, meaning damage to the kidneys. Diabetic dermopathy does tend to occur in older patients or those who've had diabetes for at least 10 to 20 years. It appears to be closely linked to increased glycosylated haemoglobin, which is also known as HbA1c, and this is an indicator of poor blood control of blood glucose levels. Because the lesions occur over bony parts of the body, such as the shins, it's thought that shin spots or diabetic dermopathy may be a magnified response to an injury or trauma to these areas. Studies have shown that shin spots have appeared in response to trauma with heat, cold, or blunt objects. So what puts you at risk for developing this skin condition? Well, having diabetes mellitus is the most obvious risk factor, and if your diabetes is poorly controlled for long periods of time, this also increases your risk. The longer you've had diabetes, the more at risk you are for developing diabetes-related dermopathy. Your age is also important, so people who are over the age of 50 are more likely to get this, and people who are assigned male at birth are also more likely to develop shin spots. So moving on now, people might ask, what is the treatment for diabetic dermopathy? Well, diabetic dermopathy lesions or shin spots are harmless. They usually do not require any treatment and they can go away after a few years, particularly following improved blood glucose control. Some people do use makeup to help cover the patches and others might use a moisturizing emollient cream to help improve the appearance and texture of the patches. And as a general rule of thumb, it's important to manage your diabetes as well, so to avoid further complications. As I've already mentioned, the main way to try and prevent these diabetes-related dermopathy lesions from occurring is to manage the diabetes. So this will involve checking your blood sugar regularly, taking your insulin or medication on time, seeing your health provider annually to make sure that you're keeping up to date with your diabetes management and that you've got a personalized plan to help do this, exercising regularly, eating healthily, and most importantly, asking for help. Diabetes management can be confusing and difficult. If you're struggling to manage your diabetes, please do reach out to your health provider. We're more than happy to help. And also please reach out to family and friends for support. I do hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to like it. Leave me a comment if you've got any thoughts or top tips on managing diabetic dermopathy. And please subscribe to the channel for weekly medical education videos if you haven't done so already. Please also check out the references and resources that I used to make this video, which can be found in the description box. There's lots more useful information contained within these links. Finally, I've got to stress that this is designed as an educational video. It is not a clinical advice video. And for legal reasons, 
please read the full disclaimer in the description box of the video. If you've noticed any new, concerning skin lesions, especially ones which are dark, bleeding, or look irregular, please go see your health provider. As ever, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye.